Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have super super interesting alliance quest video uh, on so say uh, the doom day 3 uh, map 7 on these epic modifiers and we're gonna give silver surfer some time to shine because I'm gonna use him in pretty much all but like one fight I think he's gonna do like 12 fights in this alliance quest so he's gonna put in some serious work. Now typically I do not take this yellow jacket because he's technically not on my path kind of like not with a node combination and i did have to change my masteries in order to be able to do this fight because this uh node uh combination that's here it ha has what's yours is mine and basically demands you to place weakness debuff on opponent and then once you do it awards you with a fury buff but unless you have that specific fury buff active from this node you do 75 percent less damage and you are like pretty much on the track to time out so uh, once you put resonate on however you can do those nodes pretty much with uh, any champion so yeah that is exactly what i did i altered my mastery setup for, because my teammate was late he had a work emergency and uh, i wanted to go to bed so i just changed my masteries and did that fight and i'm gonna do a couple more fights later on linked as well well not later on kind of like just in a few fights uh, but yeah next up we are against magneto and this guy has energized clap back and something else nothing too important nothing too tricky basically for all intents and purposes he has 100 percent increased power gain and that's about it so so say it the doom obviously i do need to fulfill those uh, modifier requirements whether to use a special attack in time or inflict a debuff on uh, magneto which is super easy with silver surfer by the way because you can just use your power cosmic and you place armor breaks and then there's like an intercept and a dodge i believe uh, we can see what new missions it uh tells me to do so i did uh, the intercept here with heavy attack and uh, i did launch my special attack so say, so say the doom was done quite quickly and within the minute that fight was already over now next fight is actually going to be quite a bit tricky because it's spider gwen on what's yours is mine and obviously i do not really kind of how great spider gwen counters and additionally i do make a mess up, mess, mess up here early on so i do take to some damage and uh, yeah, this is definitely tr quite tricky fight with Silver Surfer, but hey, Silver Surfer did so well in this fight. And well, quest in general, the reason why I brought him uh, is because it was Cosmic Ascendancy week, so basically Cosmic Champions get that attack bonus. And in addition to that, in section two, in section three, I cannot really use any champions that rely on stun. Uh, because my section 2 opponents are all stun immune and my section 3 has a one eye open node and that basically means I cannot hit them while they're stunned as well and Silver Surfer kind of like fits in that role extremely well with his unblockable special attacks with his uh, random heavy attack drops and uh, ability to gain extra openings so and so forth so I figured that uh, Silver Surfer could be a decently good fit for those specific lanes especially since I'm not running Suicide Masteries because if I am running Suicide Masteries then I typically just run Corvus and that's about all she wrote uh, but I decided to have a bit of fun play about and uh, yeah brought in Silver Surfer and he's doing quite well now against uh, Spider Gwen here because she has such a high chance to evade I will not be trying to fulfill that uh, intercept requirement of so say the doom because I'm much more focused on kind of like staying safe not letting her away therefore trying to strike her only when uh, she's parried and here we can see that i got the first debuff which now is specter and it reduces all my healing but uh it specter debuff is a debuff in itself so actually in this case it's quite beneficial and it can give me quite a bit of willpower to heal over the course of next fight so that actually could be quite viable strategy to uh have that one or two debuffs get placed on you on purpose just to have access to a bit more willpower heal now here we're going to be going up against hella and uh, the reason for this node is basically 
primarily because obviously there is a class advantage uh, for Black Widow Clairvoyant and she can nullify those furies and give her buff immunity so I'm gonna have a lot less unstoppable to worry about. Uh, Hela has that node where whenever she gains a fury buff uh, she goes passively unstoppable but obviously if uh, I place buff immunity on her she cannot gain fury buffs and therefore I can safely bet out that special attack and I don't have to worry about him going unstoppable and that just makes all that fight so much easier. In addition to that, uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant can either nullify or prevent from activation due to buff immunity Hellas cheat death mechanic. So it's also kind of handy not to have to wait around for those like last, what is it, eight, 10 seconds when she's indestructible once her health bar hits zero. Uh, so yeah, in this case, I just nullified it and then dropped a level two. So Black Widow Clairvoyant definitely did extremely well in this fight, but here is going to be like the biggest uh, mishap. So this uh, guy is obviously noted and he's super stacked right now. And I figured my best shot here would be bringing Black Widow Clairvoyant, put on my Poison Curse to basically avoid having a need to bait out... Uh, special attacks from this guy and just try and drop my level twos back to back kind of and that was the plan anyways and that is exactly where i'm trying to go unfortunately you know i mistimed the dodge and uh just ate one level two and i'm immediately wrecked in the face now i typically don't have much problem awaiting magneto's level two but sometimes it still catches me so it's annoying so yeah one uh, mistimed away then black widow clairvoyant is ko'd and then i realized that uh, i'm probably gonna have to lean quite heavily on silver surfer in this run and uh quite honestly it also made this entire run so much more fun because there are some tricky matchups and i didn't have much of a choice on who to use because uh silver surfer is live black widow clairvoyant isn't and the only reason quake is here for say so say the doom modifier is because she's still fantastic option for a single fight and if my team needs help on thing boss or dr doom boss then uh, Quake is probably the best answer, even with so say the Doom modifier, because during the fight itself she can switch off so say the Doom. However, unfortunately, if you do enter the next fight, then you will have these debuffs placed on you. So it's quite tricky with Quake on so say the Doom, but uh, other than that, uh, she can still work for a um, boss or a thing mini boss or something like that. But here you can see that Silver Surfer is doing extremely well, and uh, we are managing to damage that magneto quite uh, effectively now here i had to reactivate my power gain in order to refresh the rest of my buffs now i do know that optimal rotation for silver surfer requires you to drop a level one when he's on fury phase but i find it much trickier to kind of time and in addition uh, quite often i just want to get my level two as early as possible in order to deal max damage and then i just kind of like deal with one fury instead of two furies which is like the best rotation for silver surfer but uh it's working out for us so it's kind of like fair enough situation and uh, now we are in section two and the nodes here that i have to go up against uh primarily are all uh empowered immunity so if i inflict a debuff the defender is immune to they gain a bunch of power and stun immunity so i cannot uh, parry stun them and then these champions do have their additional nodes in case of taskmaster he has like seven or ten percent chance to evade uh, an attack that he has exploit weakness on against so if he has a medium exploit weakness basically i need to avoid throwing medium hits in him otherwise he will be able to trigger his evade and wreck me in the face additionally obviously that spectre debuff is still active from the previous fight uh from previous fights and that has given me quite a bit of willpower heal so that has definitely been super helpful and uh yeah silver surfer is definitely doing quite well here now i do make a mistake and uh i eat a couple of hits in the face but uh, still i'm not too worried about my health level i'm much more worried about dealing with that evade of taskmaster and kind of like closing out the fight because at this point he's obviously only at like nine percent health so another combo should pretty much do it so i also didn't bother trying to land those intercepts to deal with so say the doom next fight is iceman and obviously against iceman uh, silver surfer takes no cold snap damage so that is also really kind of like useful and he has access to armor break so i can uh, shut down or at least temporarily disable iceman's ice armor and deal more damage like that 
and uh, overall yeah this is quite good matchup for silver surfer now i do need to remember obviously that he's stun immune and unfortunately here i do eat uh, that level one like the last end of it and even though silver surfer doesn't take damage from cold snap Frostbite still deals damage to him, so you can see that here it took quite significant amount of damage once that expired. But at least it's over. I'm still at 50 plus percent health, and uh, yeah, we're doing relatively well. So here I opted to go for level one in order to finish out the fight. And uh, next up is going to be Vision. Now, Vision fight uh, again is not overly complicated, but you do have to be very, very conscious about uh, his power meter because obviously he has synthesis and he's going to be gaining huge chunks of power periodically and uh, that is quite easy to let him get to level three because of it so yeah that's kind of like the main thing uh, to be careful about there uh, but other than that uh, obviously solar surfer has class advantage here so that is helpful as well unfortunately here i parried when i didn't mean to parry uh, but uh, luckily I did manage to activate my cosmic power buff at the right time. So now I have all my three buffs. I'm still unstoppable for that period of time. And the fight is close to being, you know, close to being over. Now, uh, here again, his synthesis kicked in just before the end of the fight. But once again, I am able to finish off the fight with that final uh, level one. And uh, now this fight against Doctor Strange obviously is quite scary because not only I will have class disadvantage, uh, in addition to all of that, Doctor Strange will be counterspelling all of my uh, buffs, and that's obviously going to significantly reduce my damage output. Uh, but uh, hey, you know at least I can still access those armor breaks if I use my power cosmic buff quickly. So that was one thing that here I didn't notice initially that he also nullifies the power cosmic buff and then I have to wait again till it kind of like refreshes. So for the second part of the fight I will be trying to trigger my power cosmic as quickly as I can and uh, that will enable me to place those armor breaks on him and maybe even for a quick moment gain uh, some of those buffs active on myself. Now, that was a slick level 2 away. I generally thought I was dead in this fight because Doctor Strange's level 2 is not the one I can evade consistently. I obviously have done so in the past and I can evade it, but it is a quite tricky level 2 to evade and I was well happy with myself that I actually managed to uh, pull off a full evade and finish out this fight against Doctor Strange quite comfortably. Now at this point there was nothing mini boss to take anymore, so unfortunately missed out on that one. And a small backstory for this entire kind of quest is I was also super busy at work, so I was fighting kind of like as and when I could and uh, that obviously didn't help much and that will result in some of the mistakes, but uh, hey, you know, uh, I meant to mention it more of as as a factor of why I wasn't really able to get much boss action because every time I did manage to get login the bosses seem to have been taken down already or still had been linked but anyways now, now we're up against Iron Man and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video my section 3 opponents have one eye open node which means if I strike them while they are stunned I take the damage instead and uh, that, however, means that, uh, yeah, you have to be careful not to parry them. And if you do, then you definitely have to be careful and not attacking them while they're stunned. So all of your openings should come from, like, intercepts or baiting out heavy attacks, so and so forth. And here at this point, I'm triggering power cosmic buff just in the right time as well to mitigate the healing of Iron Man quite significantly another level two and the fight is over so next fight is going to be against Angela and uh, can we just get a moment of appreciation for how many fights that uh, shiny uh, Oscar statue has done in this uh, alliance quest man I used him for like all but one fights I used Black Widow player Warrior for Hela and everything else has been Solar Surfer and he's still quite lively so yeah, I was uh, well happy with how this turned out. And uh, now Angela. Angela obviously isn't too tricky of an opponent. Uh, it's just to play around that one-eyed open node and that is pretty much about it in the fight. They also have resistor, but hey, 
uh, at this point I'm already kind of like well set up I have each of the buffs active I have fury power gain and armor up I'm dealing quite significant damage especially when I crit obviously if I don't crit that resistant node mitigates a lot of the damage uh, but that is uh, how it is and what you can do about it kind of thing so at this point i'm back up to another level two drop level two and the fight is over solar surfer is absolutely tearing these guys up now we're going to be going up against groot and uh, i'm going to have a lower damage output against groot overall just because he makes my armor breaks expire extremely quickly so that is again something to uh keep a mental note of in addition to all of the resistances and buffs that this guy has it's definitely not the quickest of the fights against him but at this point i already have power gain buff i have a fury buff and uh, i just need to get my armor up buff quite sure whether in this or next fight i'm gonna mess up quite significantly and lose my buffs at some point but uh you know it's kind of like happens and especially in these type of fights you cannot always get the perfect playing conditions but once again overall i was super happy with how well silver surfer was doing in all of these quests and uh yeah so 50 seconds in groot is about uh halfway down so not too bad i do make a mistake here and groot slaps me quite hard but uh fortunately for me uh it's groot right <laughs> if it was uh any other opponent i am li i would likely to have died at this point but since it's groot it's like come on it's groot he doesn't hit that hard and uh, yeah so here i go for level two because why not and wanted to dump my power didn't want to push myself to level three reactivate my power cosmic buff and he drops his level one so now i'm gonna try and go for the third buff because why not even though the fight is pretty much over so we still have like a minute and a half left in this fight. Not too bad overall. And now last fight. Last fight I did significantly later. Uh, already after my work was over. I was actually kind of like on my way home. And then I noticed uh, and realized I should check AQ. So I was actually, uh, yeah, quite pre-engaged whilst I was uh, trying to do this fight. And so that's going to show because I'm going to make some serious mistakes. It's going to be tricky, close fight, but I'm definitely going to make some mistakes in this fight. And uh, well, it is what it is. Let's just uh, watch it and see what happens. So obviously, again, it's still one eye open, so I cannot uh, gain my openings from parry sending the guy. So here I unfortunately let my buffs expire, which kind of sucked. Uh, always get annoyed when you do kind of like less than the optimal play or you just kind of like lose your ramp up now here luckily at this point i already have two of my three buffs back up active have the armor break on there as well go for my level two because why not didn't do too much damage because none of it crit and obviously all of those resistances and armor buffs on venom are making a difference here in this situation and uh i messed up again i wanted to go for a heavy attack but i but he was throwing his level one and obviously that basically prevented me from doing it i guess you could say or i don't know uh but yeah that was definitely a mess up this fight should be over by this point but i just keep dropping off my buffs unfortunately and finally i get to three buffs but i also push myself to level three so that is also super annoying but hey i'm just gonna drop that level three because why not so we're gonna quickly speed through the rest of this but uh, right about here, I'm going to make my mistake. I only have 10% health left anyways. And uh, now he's unblockable in his special attacks. And uh, I'm nearly there when I was at like 15% health. And I'm going to have like a guaranteed opening here as well. But I do not know why. I just dashed back in here, got a bit greedy. And I lost my Silver Surfer. That was actually quite an annoying moment. Uh, but yeah, can we have a moment of silence for the fallen soldier? But anyways, I brought in Quake, quickly finished it out, and that was my last fight because I missed the Doom fight as well. I couldn't catch it. Uh, but uh, that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know I definitely did. I had quite a lot of fun using Silver Surfer because the fights were challenging, but they were also super fun. But yeah, anyways, that is it for today, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya.